Happy International Women in Science Day. 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 International Day Women in Science. Happy International Women in Science Day. 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 International Women in Science Day is important because it helps to show young people, especially young girls, that women can succeed and make valuable contributions in the field of science. It encourages diversity and inclusivity in STEM. It's so important that we're celebrating women in science today because there are some women who didn't get the recognition that they deserve. One of my heroes in science is Rosalind Franklin who contributed to the discovery of DNA but unfortunately did not get the recognition of one of my heroes. So here at Jebel Ali we have an all women's science department uh, which is quite unusual to find in a school. So when I was younger I was really into conservation, I still am. Um, my students know of me sometimes as the shark lady because I'm really big into shark conservation. So growing up for me uh, Jane Goodall was just a massive influence and inspired me to look at zoology. My female science hero is Cecilia Payne Gaposchkin. In 1925 she discovered what stars were made from but at the time very few people believed her until someone else proved her to be right a few years later. She studied at Cambridge but wasn't awarded a degree at the time because she was a woman and then despite getting a PhD from Harvard she wasn't allowed to be a professor again because she was a woman. So she's my female science hero. And the reason that I got into science and the reason that I am now a science teacher is because I was inspired by lots of fantastic science teachers that I had in school. Um, one of my favourite female scientists is Suniko Okazaki. The reason I really like her story is because at A level I teach a lot about the um, DNA replication um, and how it happens and actually she discovered something called the Okazaki fragments. It's kind of here and when the DNA is replicated, she discovered that it doesn't always go in one direction. Sometimes it goes in the other direction on one strand. She worked with her husband, uh, Mr. Okazaki, but unfortunately he got all of the recognition for their two discoveries. Um, and after he died in 1975, she continued her work and she still didn't get much recognition for her discoveries early on in her career. She did go on to win some awards later on in life and she now campaigns for better support for women in science. There are some really inspiring um, women through history that have been really involved in science. So one famous one would be a baby like Ada Lovelace who in the 1800s was kind of a pioneer in mathematicians and doing the first computer programming, which does link into what we do in science. Luckily now we're in 2023, we tend to see this equality across all genders. We see pioneers in all areas of science, whether you're male, female, um, which is great to see and something that we really support in the Jebel Ali Science Department.